of the day, the month, the week, Reliance Industries. 10 is the number that we are clearly focusing on. Geo's 10 investments in just a matter of 8 weeks in a very tough environment. Naveen Kulkarni, CIO Access Securities joins in. And Naveen, you know, this really, uh, you know, telling a tale that uh, a lot of marquee names, a lot of big companies want to buy off Geo even at a tough time like this. Do you think that the goal that they had set out with respect to become net debt free by December itself is going to very easily be achieved? And what do you think that these kind of names suggest for the company? Um, see, of course, uh, they, uh, they are clearly very much on track to achieve their goals of uh, becoming debt free. That I think uh, uh, is now very, very clear. And also the kind of investments that we have seen uh, uh, players like the Silver Lake have come back again and again have invested. So uh, some of these uh, marquee names might again come back and invest in the future, right? So uh, so there is a lot of room for uh, uh, investments right now and uh, the amount of cash that they have raised, they seem to be in a very, very comfortable position at this point in time. So uh, so the chances of them becoming debt free are uh, quite high at this point in time. Yes, sir. certainly that uh, is definitely going to be very well achieved and you got a stamp of approval from the likes of Facebook, TPG, uh, you know, um, Mubadla as well as General Atlantic among the others. Um, uh, I mean, the question is now, are we pretty much over with these deals? They struck 10 already, they've crossed, crossed the 1 lakh crore mark. Do you think that we could see some more similar deals in the pipeline? Uh, it seems likely that there could be some more similar deals in the pipeline in the future, right? So, uh, it all depends on uh, what their ambitions and what their aims are, right? So, uh, let's say that if they are looking at a major 5G deployment and the CAPEX for that. So, uh, if those are the factors which are influencing uh, the cash raising, then uh, there is a good amount of possibility that there could be some more deals also uh, which might happen. So it's, it's difficult to gauge at this point in time how things are going to evolve. But uh, <clears throat> considering the way uh, uh, these deals have happened and uh, like one marketing name came back again also reinvested. So it's uh, very likely that having such a large panel of investors uh, who have bought, uh, they may not just be satisfied with uh, let's say the chunk that they have and if the company uh, continues to do well, they might again come back and reinvest, right? So uh, these are uh, very, very different times in terms of how we are seeing uh, uh, Indian uh, uh, tech companies or uh, Indian telecom companies and how they are going to behave in the future. Thanks very much then, Naveen, for sharing with us your views. Yes, indeed, it's been a perfect 10, 8 weeks 10 deals, 1 lakh 4 crores is what the company has managed to raise, which is very commendable. We'll be focusing on that stock, of course, in today's trading session, but we'll also be